Good morning. It is day seven and the sun is shining once again. It's been a while. Ah, oh, what a way to bring in 31. I had to cross somewhere way down there to get here, but I have one story I want to share. Last night in the dark, I was walking and I came across this older gentleman who asked me where I was going. I told him I was aiming for this shelter here. And he said, there's one closer by. It's just a summer camp. It's not really a shelter, but you could take shelter there if you'd like. And I said, okay, like, whereabouts is it? He's like, follow me, I'll show you. So I followed him and I got to know him. His name was Christo, retired priest, really nice guy. He's traveled the world, basically working in the different Svenska churches, the Swedish churches. I got there, I had a break, and I realized there's no campfire spot. So I pushed on to here, and this morning, Christo comes walking up while I'm getting my stuff together and offers me all this for a birthday gift. So hot coffee, fresh off the press, San Pellegrino, cottage cheese. This is like blue cheese in a, a paste, so that's, that's gonna be interesting. Some mustard cheese, mucose, or milk, milk cheese, or light cheese, light cheese. My Swedish is not that good. And then a whole thing of warm bread and some more cheese, like, wow. Taxi and wicket, this has been already an amazing new decade of my life. So it is my last night, my final night, night number seven. And I'm at the same shelter as it was yesterday, uh, except now I got a lot more food, thanks to Christo this morning, come dropping by and giving me all that. Today was uh, pretty much a write off. I mean, it was good for me. I chilled in the library all day and read my first four Swedish books. I mean, they're just children's books. Two were about hockey, of course. And then, oh, it's done. Boiling water, here we go. I got pasta bolognese for dinner tonight. Really looking forward to that. With a side of cheese. Got so much cheese right now. I got a fire going though. So I'll be warming up by that soon enough. Uh, so I'll finish off tonight. And then tomorrow it is a 16 kilometer walk to Engelholm along the coast. Uh, hopefully the weather is good. It's been a really good trip so far. I've enjoyed pretty much every moment, even when it sucked in the rain. It's still a good experience and a good story to look back on. Make sure to read the blog. Uh, that has a lot more information in it than what you might have seen in the video. A lot of times I couldn't get the video out just because of everything that was happening really quick, especially when it was raining. I didn't want to get my gear out, so I just kept going and put it all in my memory, wrote it down later through the night. So each uh, like chapter, I guess you could say, each day in my blog was written that night, so that way it was fresh in my mind. The link for that will be in the description below. I'll be doing more videos similar to this as well as other travel related videos, product videos, and whatever else that comes to my mind. Can you guys believe this? This is day eight, so good morning for the last time on this trek. We have beautiful sunrise colors going on over there. I am just coming up to Vedby Strand again, and I will finish today in Engelholm. It's been an amazing eight days. Definitely went through all kinds of weather. Last night was extremely cold. It actually dropped below zero. 
but I did my best to stay warm inside my sleeping bag and thermal insulator, but the wind was actually hitting 74 kilometer hour gusts and causing my tent to move even with me in it. So that made it extremely cold, but I made it through, I'm alive. That's all that matters. And now 16 kilometers to go, finish this all off. Well guys, 16 kilometers later, I am now officially done my trip. I have made it to Engelholm. I'm just about at the train station where I will catch a train. Where I will catch a train all the way up to Ora in the north for the winter season. So thanks a lot for following along on this eight day adventure. It was really fun. There wasn't much to see today, but it was still a great day for a walk. The sun was shining, which is a good way to end it. Take care. Make sure to check out some other videos of mine. If you're interested in the overland track in Australia, I'll leave that one somewhere in this area for you to check out. And make sure to subscribe. Ciao.